My favorite thing is cheerleading. I cheer for the Viper All-Stars, and to be a flyer, you're pretty much the person who goes up in the air all the time. She likes to achieve. She strives for a goal and get out of her way because she's going to make it happen. Lauren actually is a very dynamic, very assertive young lady. I have an older brother, Joseph, and I have a younger brother, and his name is Brendan. And they both annoy me a lot. <laughs> When you look at Lauren, you wouldn't know that she can't eat what everybody else has. Having a milk allergy means that you can't eat like cake or cookies or anything like that. It's hard going to birthday parties and sleepovers and everything because I always have to pack snacks whenever I go somewhere. She can't have the cake. She can't have the ice cream. She can't have the pizzas. We have taught Lauren that she needs to be responsible for herself. This is my purse and Inside is all my stuff that I keep in case I get a hold of milk. That's my EpiPen, my Benadryl, and my inhaler for my asthma. Lauren was a breastfed baby. One day I gave Lauren five drops of ice cream, and immediately after she broke out in full-blown hives and began wheezing really bad. They tested her for milk, which she was allergic to, eggs, which she was also allergic to wheat and barley. Lauren has grown out of the egg allergy as well as the wheat allergy and the barley allergy. Life in our house is like any other house. Um, we are a milk-free house, pretty much. We have to eat dinner at home a lot. We don't get to go out and just go to any restaurant. I cook one meal. I don't cook for Lauren separately. And it is a very healthy way of eating without a lot of the fats from the milk. Many times it takes me at least two hours in the grocery store because I have to read the ingredient list. So I can't randomly just pull anything off the shelf. You really um, are at risk every single day to have a reaction. There's a fear that parents have every day their child leaves the house that they're going to die of their food allergy. Once your body recognizes this food as sort of an invading uh, substance that it doesn't want around, it seeks to attack it. I've been coming to Johns Hopkins Children's Center ever since I was diagnosed with my milk allergy. I honestly would not take Lauren anywhere else. I also am a nurse there at Hopkins, so I know what they do there. She is going to the best place possible. We started about six months ago the first study in the United States of a treatment study for milk allergy, where we're actually looking at a way that we think will desensitize children with severe milk allergy. Lauren has been going to the clinic once a week since the beginning of September. Dr. Justin does a breathing test with me and then he gives me a cup of chocolate milk and it either has milk powder or non-milk powder and then I drink all the chocolate milk and then he observes me for an hour. What desensitization involves is giving small doses of what you're allergic to, building those doses up, and eventually teaching your immune system to become more and more tolerant to that allergy. We're hoping in the end she will be able to eat milk just the way you and I would. We've adjusted, we've adapted, but ultimately if she were allergy free, it would lift the burden off of our shoulders. We are extremely confident that the treatments will, at the very least, make food allergy a lot less dangerous, and at the most, make the food allergy go away. And if we look uh, toward that sort of 15 to 20 year time horizon, uh, I believe food allergy will be a curable disease. The day Lauren's able to drink milk or eat the way everyone else, it will be total freedom for us, but more importantly, I know that she'll be safe.